There are a lot of movies out there, a lot of, you know, remakes and, and maybe sort of characters we've sort of seen in different versions. And, um, but there's still room for, you know, new stories and new ideas and something that feels original. And I guess when I read it, I just felt like I hadn't really read a story like this. So who is he? The accountant. Like a CPA accountant? Not quite. How does your character, Mary Beth, get involved with this mystery man they call the accountant? Well, um, when we first meet Mary Beth in the movie, we sort of see her at her job, which is uh, as an analyst at the United States Treasury Department. And she works in the financial crimes division. So, you know, they're responsible for essentially tracking money for, you know, criminals and uh, among, among other people. And uh, she sort of gets called into the office of Ray King, who's her superior, and that, of course, is played by J.K. Simmons. Christian Wolf. Really? Christian Wolf last year ran $75,543 through his accounting Whoa. firm. Who is Christian Wolf? The accountant. Well. You know, he essentially sets her off on this course that we see for, you know, the rest of the movie as she tracks down the accountant and tries to figure out who he is and why he's doing what he chooses to do. Um, you know, the, the stakes are really high for her to sort of figure this out. And it isn't necessarily her choice to be involved. But as the film goes on, you sort of see that, you know, it almost just excites her to sort of realize she's getting closer and closer. And, and I think it's a, a role that audiences are really going to be, you know, rooting for just to kind of see her succeed at, at solving this mystery. This guy risks his life on cooking the books for some of the scariest people on the planet. Drug cartels, arms brokers, money launderers, assassins. Who survives this kind of clientele? Imagine the secrets this guy has. What are you doing here? I like the idea of he's not a conventional hero. I mm -hmm. mean, again, I can't really think of a character like this that I've seen. And I think Ben Affleck does an incredibly, you know, nuanced job of bringing this character to life because it's not an easy character to sort of take from the page and and present on the screen. Um, and I feel like he and our director, Gavin O'Connor, really wanted to make sure that they brought some some truth and accuracy to, you know, the character and, and who he is. And um, yeah, I just think they've done a really wonderful job with that. This is on wheels, which means I can hook it up and be gone in 12 minutes. Usually. Sarcasm? Is that sarcasm? No, that's not a sarcasm. I don't use sarcasm. It's irritation. Everything in the world that is important to me is in this trailer. And right now, changing my routine for you is jeopardizing that. If you had a trailer like uh, Christian Wolf does in the movie, um, nobody knows of, and he protects all his um, precious things in there, what would you put in there? <laughs> um... Yeah, well, I, I wish I had, you know, collectible art or something, <laughs> you know, diamonds. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I would just sort of put, you know, my personal mementos, you know, photographs. Um, you know, I don't know that I have anything to hide in a trailer. Maybe I would just have an empty trailer, <laughs> just a place I could go when I want, like, complete peace and quiet. But, um, yeah, even that detail, it's just sort of cool and different. It's it's an unexpected addition and detail in the movie that I think is pretty cool. <laughs>